First of all, Rand Paul shouldn't even be on this stage. He's number 11. He's got 1% in the polls. And how he got up here, there's far too many people. Anyway, as far as temperament, and we all know that, as far as temperament, I think I have a great temperament. I built a phenomenal business with incredible, iconic assets, uh, one of the really, truly great real estate businesses. And I may be an entertainer because I've had tremendous success with number one bestsellers all over the place, with The Apprentice and everything else I've done. But I will tell you this, what I am far and away greater than an entertainer is a businessman. And that's the kind of mindset this country needs to bring it back. Because we owe 19 trillion right now, 19 trillion dollars. And you need this kind of thinking to bring our country back. And believe me, my temperament is very good, very calm, but we will be respected outside of this country. We are not respected now. Mr. Senator Paul, your name has been invoked. I kind of have to laugh when I think, of, hmm, sounds like a non sequitur. He was asked whether or not he would be capable and it would be in good hands to be in charge of the nuclear weapons and all of a sudden there's a sideways attack at me. I think that really goes to really the judgment. Do we want someone with that kind of character, that kind of careless language to be negotiating with Putin? Do we want someone like that to be negotiating with Iran? I think really there's a sophomore quality that is entertaining about Mr. Trump, but I am worried. I'm very concerned about him having him in charge of the nuclear weapons because I think his response, his, his visceral response to attack people on their appearance, short, tall, fat, ugly, my goodness, that happened in junior high. Are we not way above that? Would we not all be worried to have someone like that in charge of the nuclear Jake, arsenal? Jake, Mr. Trump. I never attacked him on his look, and believe me, there's plenty of subject matter right there. That I can tell you. But Jake, Jake. I